South China Morning Post, 8th of March 2023, China firmly rejects any German restrictions on Huawei and ZTE 5G spy gear. All equipment supplied abroad has been tainted by China and needs to be withdrawn from circulation. After Berlin demanded a review of Huawei and ZTE components used in the nation's 5G networks, China vehemently opposed German meddling in Chinese investments. The Chinese embassy in Berlin voiced displeasure over reports that Germany may ban Huawei and ZTE from its telecom networks due to concerns about national security. The decision by the German government was labeled as hasty and without factual foundation by the embassy, which expressed its puzzlement over it. Germany's use of the idea of national security and its abuse of state power to meddle in the market in its collaboration with China are things that China vehemently opposes, the embassy said in a statement. We hope Germany will do more to encourage mutual benefit rather than the opposite and will work to establish a fair, just, open, and non-discriminatory business environment for Chinese companies. Around 60% of Germany's 5G networks use Huawei equipment, which the embassy defended as secure. The German Daily site first reported the potential ban on Monday, which cited government sources to claim that it might also apply to Huawei and ZTE parts that had already been integrated into the networks. The story claims that the government has already spent months looking over 5G network components that might be dangerous to the country's security. The review was conducted, the German Interior Ministry acknowledged on Tuesday, but it was not claimed that any particular manufacturers were the focus. However, according to a document obtained from the Interior Ministry, Reuters reported that Germany could prohibit a particular supplier from providing essential components if it were determined to be directly or indirectly controlled by the government of another state. National security concerns have already led some nations, including those in the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance, comprising the US, Canada, Britain, Australia, and New Zealand, to ban Huawei from their networks. Calls to address broader national security concerns about crucial infrastructure involving Chinese investment have also increased in Germany and other EU nations. Germany received harsh criticism last year for allowing the state-owned China Ocean Shipping Company to acquire stock in a company that manages terminals at the busy Hamburg harbor. Olaf Scholz, the Chancellor of Germany, visited China's capital city in November last year, becoming the first Western leader since Xi Jinping's election to a third term. Schultz promised not to break away from Beijing during talks with Xi, despite worries that his nation had grown economically reliant on China. Despite the continued growth in trade, Germany has been reassessing its relations with China to align with the EU's view that Beijing is both a partner for collaboration and a systemic rival. Berlin is developing a China strategy and its first national security strategy paper to handle geopolitical issues. Problems like human rights and Taiwan have long clouded relations between the EU and China, and because of Beijing's close ties to Moscow during the Ukraine crisis, tensions increased. Beijing has made an effort to warm relations with the EU, though. Wang Yi, the head of foreign policy, traveled to Italy and France last month. He also attended the Munich Security Conference in Germany, where he encountered Schultz and French President Emmanuel Macron. In contrast to his critical remarks directed at the US, China's new foreign minister Qin Gang expressed his desire for closer relations without interference from outside parties on Tuesday during a press conference.